1947. A Defense Department surplus is used to create the United States Department of Things Not Yet Tried. This office operated then, as now, under the premise that mankind's greatest advancements were achieved either by accident or by combining concepts and techniques that would never be tried using linear thinking. Their job? To try the untried. Their most recent assignment was to create a program to counter China's Operation Panda. This was Red China's first venture into gene splicing. In exchange for safe haven, Nazi scientists created a half-human, half-panda bear hybrid. This hybrid was going to be a communist super soldier. This abomination would be able to shrug off the harsh climate that wearied soldiers in jungle warfare. It would also be able to live off the land and have no need for conventional supply lines. This, along with heightened animal senses, should have made them unbeatable. They were snuck into Vietnam in 1963 for their trial by fire. Unfortunately for China, they carried too much of the panda genes. Their insatiable appetite for bamboo led them to free dozens of American POWs who were, as luck would have it, held in bamboo prisons. This, coupled with the fact the 400-plus pound black and white bears could be seen coming literally a mile away. Project Panda was scrapped in 1965. It was, however, restarted several years ago with a different endgame in mind. Wave after wave of these panda men are to be bred and sent to the U.S. where they will enter through dozens of ports via medical and research visas. Once inside the USA, they would enjoy all the rights granted to endangered species under the Endangered Species Act. A key element of this act not only allows an endangered species to live undisturbed in any habitat they bed down in, but that land becomes off-limits, not only to development, but to human habitation. By law, U.S. citizens would be literally forced out of any town, building, or home these bears wandered into. They would take over the U.S. without firing a shot. The USDTNYT, however, will be cutting them off at the pass. Their solution? To create a hybrid of their own. Before the first panda man begins his journey to the U.S., a half-puppy, half-bamboo plant hybrid will be bred. Pleasant smelling and scientifically altered to be irresistibly cute, this puppy will become America's most popular house pet. Then the department will allow some of them to wander into panda cages at various zoos. Such a defenseless, irresistible snack would be attacked and devoured in view of security cameras. This footage will then be leaked to local news. When Mr. and Mrs. America see such lopsided carnage, Congress will be flooded with calls to quarantine the beasts and bar new pandas from entering the U.S. And that's how things are done at the United States Department of Things Not Yet Tried. Music